a video by black unicorn fan fictions kindly do not copy and do not assume that you will get hobby i am a final year college student i work in a restaurant as a part time job currently i am reading fan fictions while blushing suddenly i felt someone's gaze on me i saw a customer standing in front of me he is giving me judging looks well he comes here daily and this is his routine he judges everyone i politely smiled at him after keeping my phone away good afternoon sir my usual one hamburger and sprite 3 dollars paid the bill and sat on the table he is a very good looking man a few years older than me i don't know much about him but he works in the building behind this restaurant it is a well reputed company um sir if you don't mind can i ask you something sure well i want to work in jado berry berry corporations as it is well reputed company but i heard some rumors about it what kind of rumors like the ceo sucks everyone's blood he is perfectionist and quite strict is there any problem in being perfectionist no that's good but until someone else life is affecting negatively continued bad mouthing him what is your name park wayan don't worry you will never get a job there rula diya na bichari ko ha huh? my food w- wait why did you say that jalwa hai hamara wahan people who loves their comfort zone more than anything else should start living in animal husbandry they are good for nothing we can't get anything without making efforts i another customer entered and i left after glaring at him how dare he does he wants to call me a buffalo utch vichar i'll meet him after getting a job in that company a few weeks passed i graduated and today i came to give interview in my dream company i don't care if the ceo is a monster or not it's not like i'll have to work as his assistant i should just focus on money i mean my career and development next park wayan as soon as i entered in the office room my eyes fell on a photo of company's boards of directors and i can see a familiar face in it he is a ceo gayi bhans pani mein drool over him later we should start the interview i i think i shouldn't waste your time i know that i won't be able to get a job here itne bhari gyan ki zarurat nahi hai hame pulled out a paper from his file and handed over it to her you are selected report on 59th floor am i that charming if this was a beauty contest no one would let you enter the gate mr jung told me that you have some personal relations with him you should report in his office no you have a huge misunderstanding that's what i thought he has high standards shut up hamster he's my cousin he told me you were bad mouthing about him i tried to explain him that you are a beach so he decided to test it congratulations you'll be working as a new assistant no told about the salary tali stock yes 59th floor grabbed the paper from his hand and ran all the best good morning sir park wayan it's been a while sir we just met yesterday in the restaurant he glared sorry no need to be so uncomfortable have a seat he gave me a killer smile i almost lost my balance and fell for him thank you so much jimin told me that you are very hard working calm intelligent i'll see what i can't believe on my ears neither could i but that's what he told me what are his intentions behind this well you don't have to worry about anything i will give my best and satisfy you huh no i mean i will never give you a chance to scold me juti i don't need a reason for that don't get serious after every other sentence by the way my assistant is pregnant she will be leaving her work after 2 months so it will be better if you learn everything from her thank you so much sir i won't give you any reason to get mad your shoes are dirty and you are standing on my clean carpet i don't want to live anymore i have a great day bowed down and left boy 
Tell me honestly, why did you do that? I want your best friend's phone number. Gave Yoonji's phone number. We are equal. Do you remember you couldn't go to Yoongi's concert because you lost the tickets? I steal them. Ran away. No heartbreak is more painful than what I am feeling right now. Few months later, currently, it's 11.30 p.m. I'm still in my office. Mr. Jung's former assistant quit the job and my peaches got under a lot of pressure. Nowadays, I'm working for 13 to 14 hours. I don't have any experience in this field, so it is getting tough for me. But I won't back off. My boss doesn't pressurize me to work more, but I just want to make him happy with my hard work. I don't want him to taunt me that I got this job with connections and I'm good for nothing. Next day, I entered in CEO's office and he is focused on his laptop. Good morning, sir. Thud. You don't have to bow down this much. Pagli. Realized the condition and screamed in horror. Why and Ran towards her and started screaming. What happened? Harshly opened the door and came inside. She fainted. Jimin poured water on her face. You ruined the carp whatever. Wyan tapped her cheeks. Wyan opened her eyes. Thank God, held his chest and sat on the couch. Hyung, take a deep breath. Everything is gonna be fine. Rubbing his back. Check her. Ignore her. You are more important. Facts. Wyan scratching her head. What happened, Wyan? I... where? Aren't you eating well nowadays? I work for 13 to 14 hours a day. So I wasn't getting enough time to sleep. So you decided to sleep here, this way? Health is more important than work. Go home and have rest. You won't be working for more than 12 hours. I... what? Okay, 10 hours. Thank you so much, Jimin. Please help me. Jimin helped her to get up. Wyan got up after grabbing his hair and left. Ouch, are you sure you want to date her? How cute, not at all. I forgot my handbag here. You heard everything? Yes, left with red cheeks, Bandaria. What should I do now? Ask her out officially.